Hello, my name is Jeremy Akers, Jeremy Nathaniel Akers, and I'm here to talk to you about a unique offering, the Liberating Structures Learning Journey, a masterclass that I'm gonna be hosting for the first time here from November to January, and I wanted to let you know how that's gonna work. Um, it's already full at this point, so sorry, not sorry, but you can hook up with us at the beginning of the year to get plugged in to the next cohort. But why? For the love of Christ, why do I keep talking about liberating structures? Um, liberating structures are incredible tools for pro-social coordination and collaboration and communication. Um, especially if you lean into the, the principles that you see here on the screen um, and the concept of non-coercion. So if you look at, if you read these things and you go, these are good ideas, I would like to have some of that in my life, I can get behind it. If you go, oh yeah, I would love to have ways to include and unleash everyone. I would love to practice more deep respect for uh, people and their local solutions. I would love to have ways to build trust as you go and to learn by failing forward and to practice self-discovery within the group. I'd love to be able to amplify freedom and responsibility, to emphasize possibilities, believing before I see, and to invite more creative destruction to enable innovation. I, 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 engaging in seriously playful curiosity sounds like the motherfucking jam. And oh, if only we could never start without a clear purpose. If you read those things and you go, yeah, I'm on, I'm on board for that. So I, that is the way I want to live my life. And how, how do I do those things, though? Then liberating structures are tools that are going to help you accomplish these goals. As a matter of fact, um, these principles about liberating structures were uh, back-ended. So uh, Keith and Henry uh, basically looked at places that had been practicing and using liberating structures and they came to the conclusions that these were the tendencies that emerged out of that practice uh, not the other way around we didn't think about these ideas and go how do we do them no we just looked at what you get from using liberating structures and we figured well these are the things you get so if you want more of these things, learn, practice, use liberating structures, lean into these interaction games. So liberating structures, liberating structures are a collection of 33 to be precise, uh, different interaction games, um, games that you can play to, again, communicate, coordinate and collaborate. Um, these games are are these games are good games uh, you, you you will like them on this cold cold wet day um, what can i say about liberating structures liberating structures are micro structures so what we're talking about is not a monolithic framework it is a collection of small games, small tools, small patterns or practices that you can use many of which within the frame of one meeting. Uh, I've talked at length that most meetings suck. Some meetings are better than others because you have an agenda of topics that you want to address. Um, but very few meetings have a description for each topic of how they want to address that topic what tool or what pattern they can you, you can use to treat that topic. Liberating structures offer you a lot of choices about how you can treat each individual topic within the course of a meeting or, you know, getting something done. Um, so that's what liberating structures are. How I've thought at length about the ideal way to learn, but also to teach people how to use liberating structures. Um, and the, the goal is to move through these development phases really as fast as humanly possible. So there's a liberating structures have a growth hierarchy. You'll recommend, you'll recognize these if you're familiar with the basic pedagogical framework that is unconscious incompetence, uh, conscious incompetence, conscious competence, and unconscious competence. Uh, this also lines up with the Feynman framework, 
blah, blah, blah. But basically, we start off as a despairing cynic. We're not familiar with any of the liberating structures, and I, as a maestro, look like an authority, an expert, the, the dude on this YouTube video explaining how shit works. Um, you usually want to focus on uh, guiding the exploration and self-discovery towards practical results. I want to show you that liberating structures are tools that play well with lots of different change efforts. And, you know, I, I want to help you focus on noticing how structure liberates uh, and offer you some confident first steps. And really help you manage this one, the fear that you will look foolish and unprepared. This is what fucks most people up and this is what separates the program I'm going to explain from you from most other programs is we want to cut, we want to decrease the cycle time from being paralyzed by that fear to just totally getting over it and recognizing, oh, I'm prepared well enough and these things are fucking easy. And that even if I am a little unprepared, I still don't look, I still look like the most organized motherfucker in the meeting. So, um, and moving through that growth hierarchy, we get to the phase of cautious optimism, the, the state of conscious novice, where you're familiar with a few of these tools. And I look more like a, an enabler and a teacher, um, you know. Uh, there we want to focus on clarifying purpose, um, including unusual suspects. You know, how do we increase the participation? And I want to introduce you the, to, the, to the notion of design skills, this idea of stringing together different structures, different games, and inviting other people to participate. So we can get you to a space where, oh, liberating structures are an inclusive and engaging alternatives to conventional methods that we use, right? Once we've got that, then we're good to go. Um, and, you know, focus really once more on this idea of practical, practical, practical. Designing effective meetings, finding, and, and especially this, finding liberating structures co-leaders. So this, again, is one of those things that I'm going to emphasize very much in the program that I'm about to explain. And then, you know, can we generate better than expected results without pre-cooked goals, agendas, visions, blah, blah, blah? Do we, can, can we do better than coming up with the conclusion ahead of time and then uh, building buy-in. I'm using air quotes here, but can we do better than that by using liberating structures? And the answer is damn right. Um, and then, you know, by the end of the program about I'm about to show you, you will be, I should help move you into the stage of a rapturous super user where you're familiar with about half of the liberating structures toolkit. And I look more like a coach and a co-designer, a partner that can, that you can help, that can help you spar. And I'm going to do that by focus on expanding your repertoire and use in more diverse settings and messier challenges. And we're going to use liberating structures to generate innovative results while shifting relational patterns and habits. Like this is where like major change agency and complex dynamic systems change is really happening. That's my fucking goal. That's everything I'm on about in the world. I mean, I maybe I've told you, maybe I've not, but you know, I'm playing the game for the complete reorganization, design, and just change of all of human society and culture. Right? This cultural enlightenment 2.0, uh, a new earth a brave new civilization and just, you know, the fucking regeneration of the human spirit, sense of community and the fucking physical biosphere all at once. Let me stop ranting about that. But we're going to do that by, you know, really helping to focus on spreading liberating structures and the five micro design elements to help you expand to action and research strategy. And my my all my goal at the end of this uh, program that I'm about to explain to you is that I want to help prevent you from snapping back into old habits. The worst thing in the world I would think is that that you come to some training, you learn liberating structures, and just like every other fucking training you've ever been to in your life, they go back into the cabinet of things that you learned once, but you never actually use and apply in your day-to-day -day life. That's just depressing. Um, 
And so if I can help you overcome this one and continue this learning journey to move on to Maestro Minimalist uh, and join me as a self-authoring participant um, in the community, I want to give you everything you need to m make this step as like logical as possible. That'll take time and energy, but by the time you're done with this program, you will have everything you need to just continue on on that path pretty more or less automatically. So how? How, are we how am I going to do that? Um, this is obviously for the first cohort. These dates have been prescribed. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with a kickoff session. I've got eight human beings um, that I'll introduce maybe at another time, probably on socials and Twitters and blah, blah, blah. Vera Anna Hoffman is going to hang out with me and co-facilitate this, this learning journey. We've got a stable crew of eight human beings. We're going to start meeting on November the 15th for two hours. And over the course of the next three months, every two weeks, we're going to meet together and we're going to take a step in that learning journey. Um, the goal of which being that by after session six, um, we have moved to that state of... Um, what the fuck was it called again? Uh, rapturous super user. And again, that participants will have everything they need to be, you know, uh, to sort of enter this space of ludopoesis, to be self-organizing, self-authoring groups of play and exploration in the Liberating Structures community um, and to recrew with other user groups. The Liberating Structures community, just to go on a minor tangent, is fucking big, uh, not greater than, um, although those guys are awesome and great users of Liberating Structures, I'll have you know. The Liberating Structures, as you can see, you can't see my icon, but up top where it says hashtag general, you can see that there's 9,000 people already organized into this Slack community. They are organized into almost 200 different user groups or design teams, one of which is this one of my favorite user groups is the liberating structures go online groups this is just a group 30 members in total um, that comes together to organize a meetup every single month um, where people can learn practice and use liberating structures if you're already familiar with liberating structures in any meaningful way i recommend that you skip my master class and go straight to a design team to join a user group and to organize practice sessions for other people. Um, you can come hang out with me. I'd love to hang out with you, but just this is the way, my friends. This is the way. Everything about this program I'm going to show you um, is designed to help get you to that state where you can join a design team and not feel like an idiot, but just really let it rip. And we're going to do that more or less by focusing on this session number five. So let me go back. Every two weeks, we're going to kick off with the team. In that first two hours, you're going to experience three or four different structures. And the goal is that in between session one and session two, that you take the time to try at least one of the things that you have learned in that session in your local context. Implement one thing. That is a hard requirement. If you are not willing to undergo the, the overcoming of this chasm of fear and try the shit out, then this is probably not the group for you. Um, I'll just let you know that straight out of the gate. I'm going to be fucking disappointed and frustrated and that's not going to be a good vibe like if you want to kick ass in these things and i want to help people totally kick ass and crush it you got to make the step from seeing this stuff to applying and implementing it into your actual life the second set the second session is you know um, is just another learning session. You know, I'm just going to show you three or four additional tools. We're going to practice with that stuff. And then once more, in between session two and session three, try one of the things you learned in that second session, put it to use, and, you know, see how it goes. Just learn by doing it. And cl again, closing the cycle time from theory to practice as quick as possible. This is what I did to become so proficient so incredibly fast. Within the course of about, about nine months, I was a world beater. Um, 
don't mean to brag, but that's just the way it was. Because after every uh, uh, practice session I ever went to, the next day, the immediate following day, I would apply something that I had learned at that practice session. I would literally just tell people in meetings, hey, I have this weird rule. I have to try to use one of these things I learned yesterday. Um, is it okay if I give it a go? And people were like, yeah, you can. I mean, I, I, will, I will gladly be your guinea pig to enable your learning for sure. People were super humble and super grateful and gave me extraordinary feedback. And no one expected me to do things perfectly because I mean, I just saw this thing yesterday. The fact that I can try and do it at all is almost a miracle. Um, so, again, the third session, just more practice. I'm going to teach you a bunch of tools, three, four. And, and so by the time that we get to here, you've already got 12 different liberating structures in your possible toolkit. And you have already used three, at least in real life. The fourth session is going to be a planning session where we're going to zoom out. We're going to use liberating structures to plan a, a workshop, a session, a practice event, a meetup that then the group is going to, to completely prepare for and deliver in session five. So we are going to focus on session design and we're going to actually design and then the group is going to deliver a session. I will help organize, I will help promote on social media, help people show up, help let everybody know that you're doing something awesome. But the goal is that each participant brings five people from their local context to show them in a sort of recital of what they have learned so far in the previous four weeks. And that people can see where you live, how far you have progressed and how much you have learned and how dangerous of a motherfucker you are um, in just, you know, two months, basically. Um, the reason that this is really important, um, so again, the first thing that we're trying to do is decrease the cycle time between having seen a structure and having used a structure. The second thing that we're trying to do is give you the opportunity to spread liberating structures to your local context. And so by inviting five people from whether those be our colleagues, friends, people from your badminton club, you know, people that you know just from around the way, your neighbor, by by inviting people from your local context that you live and work in uh, to see liberating structures gives us the opportunity to increase the action potential of those people as well. It gives us the opportunity to share our inspiration and spread the practice to the people. I don't expect that everybody that you bring is going to go, oh, this is incredible. I would lo I would love to make this part of my life. But I think very, very probably one of those people is going to go, oh, this is fucking cool. And you're super excited about it. And you told me you just started doing this stuff like two months ago. Oh, I mean, I could, I could earmark, you know, two hours every couple weeks to, to check this stuff out with you. And then, you know, maybe we can learn and practice together. And that, that above and beyond anything else is the game changer, right? For you to already have spread the practice to your local context and to give you someone to continue to learn, practice, and grow with just increases the probability that you actually do that um, and that you guys can support one another. So this, this session is a game changer where we flip the whole script and these eight participants are gonna host this whole damn party. And then the sixth session is going to be a debrief. You know, we wrap it up, we reflect, we use liberating structures once more to reflect back on how this thing went and how the whole rest of the previous portion of the learning journey went. You offer me really sage and critical feedback about how we can improve this whole, uh, this whole flow. And uh, we, you think forward about what are your next steps are going to be. How are you going to carry on in this learning journey? And like I said, by the time we get to this, I'm, I'm not going to host you. I'm not going to 
to hold your hand, but you are going to be absolutely more than ready to jump into the Liberating Structures community to either stay in this cohort that we start you with, that you start off with, or to form a new crew in the wider Liberating Structures community, and to just be this self-organizing agent of play and transformation, and to continue to learn, develop, and grow, and work the eco-cycle. And, um, you know, yeah, just become the shit. So, yeah, so the, the three things that I'm sort of combi that I'm combining, again, is I'm giving you a stable crew. You're forming a design team that you can continue to, to support one another with. We're decreasing the cycle time from your unconscious ignorance to your maturity and usage of liberating structures. And we are um, enabling you to spread the practice of liberating structures to your local context. Um, those three things combined, I, I think, are going to give you an order of magnitude higher probability of just continuing to carry on and learn and grow. Should you do that, should you, let's say, you after this three months, you just keep doing that, and let's just say every three months um, you organize another meetup event, let's say you, you, you know, optimistically say you join another user group like liberating structures go online and every month you organize another unit uh, learning uh, another learning experience for other people if you do that i can promise you that in six more months you will be ready to host people in this learning journey no bullshit you will be a badass motherfucker in less than a year in three in nine months you will be able to do to invite people into this learning journey and to host them. Um, you know, you can ask them for money. You can not ask them for money, but you'll be ready to do basically what I do. You may not be able to explain the shit in the high fidelity that I can, because um, I'm about three years deep in this. But you will be more than ready to, like, aggressively pursue that path. Like, as a matter of fact, you'll be. A, You'll, if you do that, you'll, you'll definitely be as probably better than I was nine months deep um, and move up the sort of pyramid scheme that is this knowledge graph, right? Um, speaking about charging people money and not charging people money. So you know, what's this experience going to cost you if you want to sign up for it? Fuck if I know. 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, 10,000 bucks. What's it worth to you? Like if you... If you just imagine, based on your means, your context, uh, what what having these tools in your life would enable, um, what is the value that you would ascribe in the best case scenario? That in three months, say everything goes completely according to plan, in three months you are a rapturous super user and ready to fucking go forth and engage in the continuous learning that is the liberating structures community at a very high level. If you imagine what that maximum value would be for, for for you you know write down a number send it to me email me at jeremy at institutecore.nl and say hey that that's what i think the best case scenario is best case scenario is it's worth x to me i will take that into consideration and just come join a crew period like whatever that number is if it's a million euros awesome if it's five euros great come join a crew At the end of that, at the end of this trajectory, at session six, as part of our debrief, what I'm going to invite you do, to do is to think back and reflect on that maximum of what is, of possible value, what was actually realized. Was it down here? That did not quite get you what you thought you would get out of it? Was it way up here? Did we pretty much crush it? Or was it, you know, hey, actually, you know, better than is sort of expected or it had any, any need to be, but not exactly, you know, perfect. Room to grow. That will not only provide me crucial feedback to continue to iterate on this program, uh, but we'll just call that fair game and you can pay me whatever that number is. How does that sound? Whatever it is, let's just fucking go. And I have full faith and optimism that 
this th that you we will continue to grow this practice together and that somehow um, I'll figure out a way to make ends meet like that's the idea and we're gonna do that in part by um, by making use of this liberating structures learning journal right so this is a way of using uh, the visual tool that is eco cycle planning that I've been showing you so far to map the progress of your development in liberating structures. So every structure starts here in the space of unconscious incompetence and the space of the seed phase of regeneration. And then once you've seen it, once you know that it exists, once you know that this pattern that is the, which one's my absolute, absolute favorite that I'm totally obsessed with right now, wise crowds. Once you know that wise crowds exists, you're now in a state of birth. Your action potential has been activated. Let's make this bigger. That's way too small. Um, your action potential has increased. It, 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 you can now use wise crowds. Once you have ever used wise crowds, you're good. You're in a space of maturity. If you ever get to the space of the game that I'm hanging out at, where I can activate your potential to use wise crowds, I can go help you go straight from here and give you dump enough information in your brain that without us actually having tried or shown you the structure, you can just go and do it. Then you're in a space of creative destruction where I'm actively trying to make myself as obsolete as possible for the implementation and uh, direction of, of using the tools. I just want to help other people learn how to use this stuff so I can sit around, be lazy, drink fucking cocktails and make YouTube videos, hang out with my kids and play games. So this is how we're going to help document the liberating structures learning journey. We are to in the process of tokenizing that shit and creating a system design, a protocol. There's another video where I talk about this at length so that we can use the Web3 toolkit to document the learning journey and to not only help establish um, your street cred, your sort of explicit reputation in the scene, but also generate and create together a public learning journal that helps to organize our learnings individually into a shared learning catalog and also gives us a resource that we can manage as a community and activate a commons um, in line and uh, making use of all of Eleanor Ostrom's brilliant principles of how to manage a commons and avoid the tragedy of the commons. That's way over the scope of this video though. Um, I just want to show you, I guess I want to flex and go, you know, this is my liberating structures learning journal. journal. This is where I'm at in my development phase. Um, I'm still stuck in this rigidity trap around uh, 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 improv prototyping. I've never used it in real life. And um, panarchy. Um, but looking for opportunities to move these things into maturity and uh, and go for it. So this is this is who I am. This is this is my learning progress um, as of this moment, October 31st, 2022. And who the fuck am I? I'm just a dude who is out there in the community trying to activate and upgrade other people's agency who has created some some unique IP making use of the tools to help people learn the tools and I'm going to dump as much of this shit in your brain as I as I possibly can as you will let me so that we can learn to play better games we can practice all of the individual elements of those better games and we can become game designers and invent brand new games and brand new combinations of those elements within all of these games to become active designers and experimenters with these what you can see as distinct units of human culture so that we can learn to experiment with human culture together and uh, hopefully have enough variation to deal with the selective pressures that are out there as climate change comes and breathes down our neck and we have an escalating uh, series of crises caused by climate change and just the fucking everything crisis and that um, you know hopefully 
by the grace of God, um, you know, we, like I said, we overcome those selective pressures and, um, you know, can retain the elements of culture, the, the units and designs of good pro-social culture that increase our probability to not only survive, but to thrive in the world. Again, focusing on the regeneration of the human spirit, our sense of community and belonging together, and the physical biosphere. If we can use those tools towards those en- these tools towards those ends, I have every degree of confidence that we are all gonna fucking make it in a very different way than we are making it right now. But you know, right now kind of sucks, and I could be totally up for a totally different way. Um, and you know what? Even if you want to these, use these tools towards the shittiest, stupidest ends possible, towards developing your fucking, your, your app, <laughs> your startup, you know, your Web2 extractive thing, fucking go for it. I would trust Darth Vader with liberating structures. If, if you pick these tools that lean into these principles, I'm, I, I'm pretty confident that you're going to be hard-pressed to do anything other than, than pro-social outcomes. As a matter of fact, I, I, I wish I could go back in time and teach liberating structures to Adolf Hitler. I think if, if Hitler had liberating structures in his life, we could have avoided the Holocaust, and uh, he, he actually would have turned out to be a pretty cool fucking dude. Um, that is a hot take. Yes, I'm willing to stand behind that one. Um, we'll find out. Help me run that experiment. Um, again, my name's Jeremy Akers, Jeremy Nathaniel Akers. We're going to do a thing to help people learn, practice, and use liberating structures to accelerate their learning journey so that it continues to carry on. We're going to create a virtuous pyramid scheme uh, in this learning impact network and so that we can all prosper because learning and especially teaching people to use liberating structures is exactly the type of job that we need in the future. Non-extractive, highly collaborative, um, regeneration of all of those things. So come fuck with me. Hit me up, hang out, let's start a cohort. My goal, just to put it on the motherfucking record, is to put 365 people through this learning journey next year. That is, depending on how you look at it, 45 cohorts of eight. I'm already entertaining the idea of shrinking that down to 30 cohorts of 12, um, just so that I can do it. And that's, that, that's what I intend to do in 2023, is bring you know a, a, effectively a person every day through this type of learning journey and spread the practice as much as humanly possible. This last year, I have crushed my goal of hosting 50, that's five, zero, public facing, open, completely free opportunities to learn and practice for other people. And that's fine and good. I now know that I can do that shit super easily, but it's much, much, much more interesting that I help teach you how to do that shit super easily. So next step on my learning journey, 365 people through this learning journey. You want to be one of them? Fuck with me. My name.